Shane Ellis here, tech support with another RoboScrub University training video. Today we are going to show you how to troubleshoot the modem and cloud on the RoboScrub 20. Now you will need to have your RoboScrub service manual with you. With the front cowling off of the machine so you gain access to the modem, go ahead and remove the modem from the machine. If you have this style modem with the USB power connector, you will need to replace it with the upgraded one, like shown here. So now you will locate the ICC ID number, write that down, and then you'll turn the machine on. You will enter the security pin code for the operator 1337. Then you'll click on settings. Then you'll click on about. And with the next screen up, you will verify that the ICC ID number matches the SIM number. If it does not, disconnect the modem, power down, power back on, and repeat these steps. If and when the numbers do match, move on to the next step, which will be to disconnect the modem from the upper trunk harness. Once you have the connector disconnected from the up trunk, get out your multimeter, set it to DC voltage. People do not use a paper clip for testing. This can short the BCM out. You should have two millimeter or less adapter probes for testing and troubleshooting on the RoboScrub. Also, you will be taking pictures of each one of your troubleshooting steps like here. Okay, the female connector that is part of the up trunk harness, you will want to align the notch facing down at the six o'clock position. If you haven't done so already, install your adapter two millimeter probes onto the end of your probes on your multimeter. Once again, do not use paper clips. Go out and get the right adapters. With the machine on, you are now going to test between pins one and two. You should get five volts DC. Next, you will do pins two and four. You should get five volts DC. And then finally, between pins two and three, you should get five volts DC. If you get five volts DC on all three pins, then you replace the modem. If not, you will continue to the next step. Next, you'll get your service manual out and turn to page 141. You'll be referencing the modem portion of this table at the top of the page. Remember, each one of these steps, you need to take pictures of the pins that you're shooting and what your readout is. Now, disconnect the upper trunk from the BCM, and you're gonna test between pins one and 10 with your meter on ohms. You should get continuity. Then, pins two to 17. Again, continuity. Pin three, pin 11, continuity. And then finally, pin 4 to pin 18, continuity. If you don't have continuity, replace the upper trunk harness. If you do have continuity, proceed to the next step. And remember, you'll be taking pictures of each one of these steps. Now, on the right side of the BCM upper portion, you will remove that side plate. Then you'll take a picture of the LED lights inside the BCM. Now all these pictures that you've taken of the steps that you've done in this troubleshooting process, you need to email to tech support at Miniman, I -N -T -L dot com with the machine RIN number, which is located right above the right rear wheel. Next you will call into the Robo Tech Support hotline so that we can open up a ticket with brain tech support and find out what the 
underlying issue is. This has been another Robo Scrub University tech support video. I'm Shane Ellis.